Imagine this for a moment. You walk into a store with real money in your pocket. You're not browsing. You're not killing time. You're ready to buy. You have already decided you want the best streaming device available. You have heard for years that Apple TV 4K is smooth, fast, powerful, and premium. You believe Apple knows what it is doing. You walk up to the counter and say just two words, Apple TV, and suddenly everything goes wrong. The employee pauses. They look confused. They ask a question that should never exist in a well-designed product lineup. Do you mean the app? Do you mean the subscription with shows? Or do you mean the little black box? And right there, in that awkward moment, you feel something strange. Not excitement. Not confidence. Confusion. And that confusion is not your fault. It is Apple's fault. This is not just about a box that may cost around $200. This is not just about streaming shows. This is about one of the smartest companies in the world slowly creating one of the most confusing brand situations in modern tech. And with the Apple TV 4K 2026 now leaking, that confusion is turning into anger. Apple has always been brilliant at naming things. That is not an accident. That is strategy. When Apple names a product, the name usually tells you exactly what it is. iPhone is a phone. iPad is a tablet. MacBook is a laptop. Apple Watch is a watch. Even Apple Music is clearly a service. You hear the name once, and your brain immediately understands the product. There is comfort in that. There is trust. But Apple TV breaks that rule completely. Today, the name Apple TV means three different things at the same time. It is a physical streaming device you connect to your television. It is a software app available on smart TVs, game consoles, and streaming sticks. And it is also a subscription service that makes original shows and movies. One name, three meanings, zero clarity. For people deep inside the Apple ecosystem, this may sound manageable. They already know the difference. They have learned it over time. But Apple does not survive on power users alone. Apple survives on normal people. People who just want to watch something after work. People who do not read tech news. People who do not care about brand structures. And for those people, Apple TV is a mess. This confusion shows up everywhere. When someone searches online for Apple TV price, what do they see? A monthly subscription fee. A hardware price. Old listings. New listings. It is not clear. When someone says they use Apple TV, what does that even mean? Do they own the box? Do they just use the app? Do they pay for the service? Even Apple employees sometimes have to clarify. This may sound small. But small friction breaks big trust. Apple built its reputation on removing friction. That was always the magic. Things just worked. You did not need instructions. You did not need explanations. But here, Apple created something that needs explaining. That should never happen. And instead of fixing it, Apple made it worse. Recently, Apple started quietly removing the Plus branding from Apple TV Plus in some marketing places. They leaned harder into calling everything simply Apple TV. This did not simplify anything. It did the opposite. It collapsed all meanings into one word. Now, when someone says Apple TV, it could mean anything. Hardware, software, subscription, or all of them at once. That is not elegance. That is chaos. Now compare this to Apple's competitors. Amazon separates Fire TV from Prime Video. Roku separates its hardware from the Roku channel. Google separates Chromecast from YouTube TV. These companies understand something very basic. Names matter. Clear names reduce confusion. Clear names help people buy things. Apple, for some reason, ignored this lesson. And the timing could not be worse. Because leaks suggest Apple is preparing a new Apple TV 4K for 2026. And this is not expected to be a small update. This is not just a faster chip and a new remote. This could be Apple's most ambitious living room device ever. According to leaks and industry chatter, the 2026 Apple TV 4K could feature a much more powerful processor, possibly close to console-level performance. That opens the door to serious gaming. Not casual games. Real games. We are also hearing about advanced AI-driven video upscaling. Content that looks sharper. Cleaner motion. Better detail, even from lower quality sources. There is also Tau. K of deeper integration with Apple intelligence. Smarter recommendations. Better voice control. 
real-time content understanding, stronger links with HomePod, Vision Pro, and future spatial computing devices. This box may become the brain of Apple's living room strategy. And here's the problem. You cannot sell a powerful AI-driven home media hub under the same name as a $9 monthly streaming app. You just cannot. It destroys the story. It cheapens the hardware. It confuses the customer before they even touch the product. Apple is usually a master storyteller. They made people believe a watch could save their life. They made people believe a tablet could replace a computer. They know how to frame products emotionally. That is why this situation feels so strange. It feels un-Apple-like. The Apple TV hardware deserves its own identity. A name that clearly signals hardware. A name that feels permanent. A name that can grow as the product grows. Something that says this is the center of your home entertainment, not just another way to open an app. Imagine if Apple called it something like Apple Home or Apple Stream or Apple Media. The exact name does not matter. What matters is separation. Hardware should sound like hardware. Services should sound like services. That clarity would instantly fix years of confusion. And the benefits would be huge. Search results would improve. Buying decisions would become easier. Support questions would drop. Marketing would become cleaner. Apple could finally explain what the device is without adding footnotes. Friends could explain it to friends without confusion. From a business point of view, this matters even more. Apple is balancing hardware sales with services revenue. Mixing both under one name makes that balance harder to manage. A rebrand would strengthen Apple's position in the living room and help separate hardware value from subscription value. Apple has fixed branding mistakes before. They moved from iTunes to Apple Music. They separated iPad OS from iOS. They refined Mac OS naming. Each time, the company chose clarity over nostalgia. The Apple TV situation feels like the next logical step. The longer Apple waits, the harder it becomes. Confusion becomes habit. Habit becomes resistance. But launching a newly branded device alongside a major hardware upgrade in 2026 would feel natural. It would feel planned. It would feel confident. My honest opinion is simple. Apple TV as a product is excellent. The interface is smooth. The performance is great. The content is strong. The problem is not the product. The problem is the name. And names matter more than people realize. As Apple moves deeper into AI, spatial computing, and connected home experiences, clarity is not optional. It is required. Right now, Apple TV no longer reflects the simplicity Apple is famous for. This is the perfect moment to fix it. The technology is ready. The ecosystem is ready. The users are ready. Apple just needs to change the name on the box. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon.